Hi everyone, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some beautiful things to share with you from Rosie's studio. Now I made an Instagram post fairly recently about my most recent trip to the reject shop and how they had gotten rid of a lot of their Rosie's studio stuff. And after I made that post, Rosie's studio reached out to me and told me that yes, the reject shop is reducing the amount of things that they're going to be stocking, which is pretty sad but also they offered to send me a couple of their collections to create some things with and share with you guys. And I also have a really nice discount code for you. So I'll leave that in the description box below. I also want to mention that you can get this stuff online. This is what I've been doing recently because I've not been happy with the, the range that my reject shop has been stocking. Anyway, so I have ordered my last couple of collections online directly from Rosie Studio. The stuff has arrived super quickly and they also do free shipping over $50 USD, which you get a pretty substantial amount of stuff for $50 USD from Rosie Studio. So it is definitely worth putting in an online order, getting your free shipping and getting it delivered. That is international as well, which I think is incredible. So they sent me two full collections of their new upcoming collections, which is just incredibly generous. They also sent me two mini albums. So um, as you can imagine, I'm really excited to share this with you and get stuck into creating with these. They're absolutely stunning. I have also I've had a little look and I can tell you right off the bat, one of my biggest bugbears with Rosie Studios previous collections was that the paper was very thin. They do appear to have improved their paper quality. So I have a couple of paper stacks here and they are both 180 GSM, which is a pretty decent weight for a pattern paper. I haven't pulled them out yet, but they definitely look uh, a lot more sturdy. And um, so if that's something that you really haven't liked about Rosie Studio in the past, uh, buckle up because these are gorgeous collections and the paper looks a lot better. So let's get stuck into looking at these. Uh, the first collection I have here is called This Is Us and then this one is called Work of Heart. So we'll go one at a time. Okay so this is called This Is Us. It is a very pretty soft delicate floral looking collection. Really really exciting. I've got lots of bits and pieces here. They've got some really exciting really exciting products in this collection. So we'll start off with these chipboard frames. Okay, I've just turned off my overhead light, so hopefully you can see with it less glare. Now let's see how we go with that. So we have the chipboard frames looking absolutely beautiful. They have some gold foil on there. So there are 12 in there, which is heaps. They're on the thin side for chipboard, which is a plus. I like that. I don't like when chipboard is too thick because it really thickens out and bulks up your layouts and makes them really hard to fit into albums. These are just perfect. Nice and thin, but still, you know, a substantial chipboard. There's heaps in there. They're really pretty colors. They've got the gold foiling. Stunning. Okay, and next we have the three by four journal cards. So there is an overview of what you get in the pack. Just beautiful. I will pull these out and have a quick flick through, but I'm not gonna spend too long on these because there's a lot to get through. There are 24 in here. They're double-sided. Uh, they are doubles. So you have two of each, which is great. So this is pretty lemon tree with the babushka doll in the back. Love this. Uh, family on the back. Then this U with the embroidery frame, beautiful. That on the back. Gather together in love. A nice journaling spot on the other side. Make a wish. That's really sweet. Lovely journaling spot. I love that peach color. Today is your day. With some florals. Another journaling spot. Really, really um, versatile. These. Cherish yesterday. Dream of tomorrow. Live for today. Oh, thank you for being. And then a checklist. I like that. When we have each other, we have everything. Butterflies, very pretty. Okay, uh, enjoy the little things. Beautiful bicycle. Uh, which way, that way. <laughs> Don't even know which way I'm going now. Uh, beautiful big floral ampersand. Because that love begins at home. Cute little caravan, so cute. Nice little journaling spot. And then me, you, and us. I love that. It's like a Venn diagram. Gorgeous. So pretty. All right. Then we have a few puffy things. So we have these puffy alphas in pastel colors. Super pretty. So cute. Just the perfect size to make titles with. I love those. 
gorgeous. Then we have these puffy heart stickers in all those beautiful colors. And these black ones have little um, white flowers on them as well, which is really cute. Love me some puffies. Then we have some puffy word stickers. So these are all very shiny gold foil, very shiny. We've got some script and we've got some bold uppercase and then lots of these hearts, which I'm going to use the heck out of. So pretty. They are definitely, they kind of look more uh, enamel, but they're definitely puffy. Very pretty, I love how shiny those are. Then we have some puffy word phrases. So these are just like tiny word stickers, but they're all puffy, so cute. Beautiful colors, I love this color palette. They're just the right size and I love that typeface font as well. Lots of really versatile phrases. And then we have some of these dots and hearts thrown in as well, which um, are going to come in really handy. Okay, and now we have two lots of die cuts. So we have the big die cut pack, which has 164 pieces in it. It's a big, a big guy. Uh, these look like they're doubled. Yep, so there's two of each design. So there's lots in there. So you get all of these die cuts and two of each of all of these. So there is a lot in there. Some really cute little doilies. Lots of like bigger phrase pieces, a little caravan, some cakes and like a mixer. It's very kind of, I'm trying to figure out what the theme is. It's kind of just home and love and, and florals. It's not super themed, which is really nice, but you do have little bits and pieces thrown in. So lots of kind of home themed items like a bathtub and a sofa, little houses and family happy bicycles. These little butterflies, some florals, this one is adorable. These are really sweet. I can definitely see myself using all of these quite easily. Then we have the floral die cuts. So just a big packet of florals and leaves. So there is the back. Lots of pinks and golden mustards. Such a beautiful color palette. I love that. Plenty of leaves as well. Definitely going to be able to use this up nice and easily. Oh, just so pretty. So soft and delicate. I love these. Okay, now onto the papers. So I have the paper pack. 12 by 12 inches, 180 GSM, like I said, there are 20 sheets and 20 designs and three of these are foiled. So let's pop her open. I really like how they include this kind of index piece on the front so you can see what you are um, what you got in there at a glance. So these are single sided, um, which I'm not mad about because that just means I don't have to think too hard about which side I'm going to use. There's only one option. So that's really, um, I'm really not mad about that at all. So we have this beautiful big floral sheet. Um, you could fussy cut this if you wanted, I suppose. I think some of these are a bit too joined together for me to want to do that, but really love that beautiful floral. And I can say right off the bat, this paper isn't uh, that paper thin, uh, super wishy-washy paper they used to have. It's just not a cardstock. It's definitely still a paper, but it's certainly, uh, I'd be happy to use this as a background paper. Definitely an improvement. Really quite impressed. So this is gorgeous. This is like a blush pink, soft, beautiful soft color with just a ton of gold foiling on it. Look at that. It's all kind of like a fleur-de-lis pattern. Um, super shiny. So much gold foiling. Gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. So pretty. Um, so this is just a bunch of teeny tiny frames. These would be really sweet to fussy cut and use as ephemera if you wanted to do like a gallery wall. And then the odd frame has this little gold foil typewritten sentiment within it. So you can see the gold foil there. Super pretty. It would make a really nice kind of neutral background as well. Oh, another nice background paper. Yeah, so it's so much more sturdy than they used to be and really, really pleased with that. So we have a really pretty kind of um, mid-tone peach, peachy pink color. There's a very faint white um, dot repeating pattern on the background. Really lovely background page. Then a wood grain, herringbone, chevron pattern. Lovely. You guys know I love me a wood grain. Then we have a smaller floral here. This is more on that orange side of peach. So still a really nice muted orange dark peach combo lots of leaves very teeny tiny really pretty then we have a blue really nice mid-tone blue with little white uh, i think they're leaves little white leaves all over it and a repeating pattern reminds me of wallpaper a little bit really like that oh this one's cute look at all these teeny teeny tiny houses teeny tiny tiny houses they're so cute oh very sweet i love those there's even like little bicycles and little trees Little pot plants, they're so small. That's so cute, I love that. 
This one I love, I'm really into mustard. Probably the last 12 months or so, probably even longer, I've been really into mustard. So I love this, um, nice little delicate floral and some little clusters. I think I might have these all upside down actually. Let's just do that. <laughs> really pretty color palette, I love that one. Oh, really nice background paper. Just a nice mid-tone green with white spots in a kind of random pattern. Really like that. It's a really nice green. Just the kind of green I like. So pretty. Oh, I like that. That's just black and white, um, but it's little naked trees. I just really like that for some reason. Really minimalist. Another really pretty soft blue with love hearts. Mostly white and then the occasional one gold foil. Look at that gold foil. I have to say one thing they do well is foil. It's really beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Okay, a really pretty mid-tone pink with a light, light pale pink. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of like a, a flirtily inspired pattern. Really pretty. A nice mid-tone green. This has what looks to be a chocolate cake. Chocolate cake recipe. Yeah, see I'm trying to separate the pages thinking they're two, but they're just one because I'm not used to this nice thick paper. So it's just a bunch of recipes printed out really, really pale typeface, um, tone on tone. I just like that a little extra detail. So that's really nice. Oh, this is nice. Uh, uh, like a white brick plastered wall that looks super 3D. I think that's um, a photographic, photorealistic design. Really like that. Really good background paper. Oh, a super busy tiny floral. I've got some of those peaches and blues and pinks and yellows. Super pretty teeny tiny floral print. Oh, a lovely yellow. I really like that yellow tone. Like a buttery, a rich yellow. All right, that's definitely a fleur de lis pattern. Tone on tone, really nice. Again, it's a background paper. Another nice black and white neutral. So just white with black plus signs all over it. Really nice background again. Oh, a lovely tartan pattern. Some more of that yellow, a little bit of a dark orange and some pink, really pretty. And I think this is the last one. Yep, so we have that really pretty mid-tone blue and lots of pears, which is interesting. So a nice fruit pattern. Beautiful, so I'm really, really pleased with these papers. I love that color palette, my collection is lovely. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is Work of Heart. Lots of bright colors, and there are lots of crafty, arty uh, motifs in this one, which is really exciting. So first off, we have some wood veneer, which I'm super excited about. I love wood veneer. And just FYI, if you have the Distress Oxide ink pads, they ink wood veneer like a dream. It goes on opaque, um, nice and bright, absolutely gorgeous. So these are great. <laughs> so we have uh, a bunch of icons in here so these are all the things you get you get some titles a bicycle some buttons which is really cute so see what i mean about um, the arty crafty uh, motif so we have a palette and some little scissors some tags and frames um, little love hearts and flowers really really cute so you get 40 in there uh, which is great a really good amount then again we have some of the journal cards three by four and there's 24 in here again two of each date due purple a nice Navy, another library card, index card. Same with this in yellow. It's definitely a library card. It says borrower's name on it. <laughs> really cute. Again, some more like library themed cards. Nice journaling spots on the back. This is a calendar in pink and a nice peach. Oh, it's actually like school ruled. Can you see that? Yeah, <laughs> really, really cute. We have a weekly, you can check which day it is. And then some more like notebook lined journaling spots. Pretty teal grid print and then some more notebook ruled. And more library cards, different color this time. And then some more notebook paper. I really love this. It's definitely um, going to be handy for school pages, I think. Another library themed and more notebook. Really awesome um, pack for if you like to use these for journaling on particularly. It's a lot of notebook ruled pages. Oh, I love that. It's rainbow. Hopefully you can see. I don't know what you can see. It's rainbow. Um, and then, yep, still going. A yellow calendar and then another weekly checklist with grid on the back. Super gorgeous. All right. Then we have some puffy stickers. So these are titles and hearts. Love these colors. You know, they're bright and colorful, but they're not um, too 
in your face. I think they're just a little bit pastel enough that I can use them quite easily. Even this red isn't quite a red. Uh, it's just on that um, lighter side, which I really like. Lots of multicolored hearts. So cute. I'm going to be able to use those so easily. I love me some puffies and I love hearts. This chipboard is quite possibly some of my favorite chipboard ever. <laughs> I just love it. I really love their chipboard. Like I said earlier, it's um, just the right thickness. I don't um, ever have to peel layers off. It's just exactly right. So we have lots of um, art crafty um, things up here, pencils and paints and a palette, little happiness award, which is adorable. Some wordy bits, a butterfly and a rainbow. Over the other side, we have a art easel, some more wordy bits. This little girl is cute. <laughs> Gumball machine's adorable. And some kind of tags and banners here. Love these. We have some stamps, which is exciting. I'm going to have to really make an effort to use these because I'm terrible with using stamps, but these are very cute. I like that they're a mix of icons and words as well. So you have this nice big art easel, which you could put anything on. I really like that idea. A heart, a little paint tube, some more um, stationary arty bits here. Some small phrases down here, which I really like. So these are made to kind of like build, build titles with. So you are A, our friendship is A, and everything you do is A and you can just add in the rest, which I really like. So those are really sweet. All right, next we have the die cuts and there are 226 in here. <laughs> it's just, it just blows my mind. There's, there's, I mean, that's a, that's a chunky pack of die cuts. There is a lot in there. Uh, again, two of each design. There's so many, I just can't get over. Like I'm definitely not gonna open this. Um, there's lots of little ones, which I really appreciate. Uh, where do we even start? So lots of these kind of chunky, chunkier word ones, some tags, some little banners. A colour wheel, stationary bits, there's a glue gun, uh, watercolours, a little eraser, paint brushes, washi tape, some florals here, some paint tubes, paintbrush, rainbows, frames, and a school bus, and a coffee cup here, school bag, little butterflies, little cat faces, adorable, some titles, some trees, so many things in here. My goodness, I can't even take it all in. <laughs> I'm really excited to use these up, and you get two of all of these. Mind blowing, right? All right, so next we have these glitter alphabet um, stickers, which are just gorgeous. These are chipboard again, so a nice uh, thin chipboard alpha and glittery. My camera is not going to like the glare plus the glitter, but I'm gonna try my best. Can you see how glittery those are? Super sparkly, super pretty, beautiful colors. I love that mix of um, pastel-y colors, so cute. Full alphabet and just a one and a half rows of numbers, which is nice. Then we have some puffies. I love these puffies. They do really awesome puffies, actually. I love all their puffies. They're a really good mix and they're just the right size. So these have some paintbrushes and <laughs> some little pencils, some little girls, some fruit, some paint tubes, some little blobs of paint, which is so cute. Some little paintings and scissors and stationery, some little critters and clips and rainbows and rain clouds. So cute. Love these. Again, papers exactly the same as before, 12 by 12 size, 180 GSM, 20 of each, one of each design, single sided, and three of them are foiled. So the first one is this really cute backpack, repeating print on a dark navy. It would be really cute to fussy cut these. This would make a really great school album, this collection. This is a really nice bright blue, and those are pencil shavings in case you can't pick that up on the camera. I'm not sure how well it's going to translate. Really cute. I really like that. Uh, a really nice big floral on a white and gray grid uh, print. So these would be really easy to fussy cut out. They're nice and separated. Really cute little florals. A nice mid-tone uh, purple with a tone-on-tone -tone floral print. It's quite small so you may not be able to see that. A nice black and white polka dot. These are great for backgrounds. So they're really easy to use. I love that one. And a pink grid print with paint tubes all over it. And this is one of the foiled ones. So there you can see that foil shining up on all those paint tubes. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that one. Oh, this is fun. It's a white background with just a bunch of kind of like painted, roughly painted half circles all over it. Really pretty. Nice and bright and colorful. Nice mid-tone green with some stripes. I kind of like it that way. Turn on tone little uh, dashes. Let's we'll see. I have a couple ideas for that one. This one's fun. A bunch of overlapping uh, Polaroid. Oh, that's so cute. You know, I think I'll just have to use this on its own as a page. That is just so cute. It's gorgeous. I could just stand it on its own in an album. Okay, we have another one of those uh, dashed uh, patterns, but this is in a nice kind of mid-tone salmon. 
pink, really pretty. Coral leaf salmon color. I love that. Really nice background. Um, this would make a really nice background as well. Nice mint tone blue with, uh, I guess it's kind of like notebook uh, lines, but yeah, just in white. Really nice. And a beautiful red. This is just the kind of red I like. <laughs> really, really pretty. Uh, it's just got some uh, sketchy lines, almost like a plaid or a tartan, but not quite. Really love that. Nice background paper. Um, all those cute little critters over and over. Really cute. These make really good kids' pages. I really like this one. This is just a pink, uh, mid tone pink, peachy pink, bunch of scissors, and this one's foiled as well. So hopefully you can see it's really tiny. There's tiny little stars all over it foiled. Really pretty and delicate. Oh, and a fun yellow and white chevron. Really nice, again, rich buttery yellow. Super pretty. Oh, a fun alpha pattern. Yeah, it appears just to be random letters. Fun, just in a black and white and a fun font. Super cute. And just a nice dark navy with a white grid printed on it. What a beautiful background page. Yeah, if you like pattern paper backgrounds like me. Oh, this is fun. Just a nice big colorful rainbow. Oh, that's fun. I have some ideas. I'm excited for this one. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And then just a nice pretty soft lavender color with abstract um, pattern, really pretty. And pencils. So colored pencils, this would be fun to cut into strips. You could even cut these out individually if you wanted, if you had the patience. This one's foil too. So all those little words on the pencils and all the little um, like metal. I used to know the name for that thing. Is it a ferrule like it is on a paintbrush? Anyway, the metal bit, <laughs> the bottom of a pencil eraser. So yeah, that's what um, is foiled on this page. Really, really pretty, super gorgeous. And that's all the papers. So that is those two collections. And then I also have these two mini albums. These are both six by six. I'm not seeing any names on them. But one is a white with a gold stripe. One of my cat's hairs on it, <laughs> don't mind that. So a nice gold foiled stripe, really pretty. And then that mid-tone blue with gold hearts embossed all over it. I'm trying to get them to show up there without too much glare, sorry. Um, and these are really nice uh, spiral bound mini albums. So six by six, you've got that spiral binding and they're the white card pages bound in there. 20 sheets, really cute. Love these albums. So I think I'm thinking I'll do, I'm still working on the themes, but I'm thinking I'm going to make uh, an, a mini album with each of these. And I think logically it makes sense to do it this way because this is the more kind of colorful um, bright collection with the nice colorful album and then the more soft light delicate collection with the gold and the white so i just have to come up with themes i'm thinking this is either going to be a school one or like an art craft themed one so my ideas were either kind of like art and crafts projects i did with my kids over um like lockdown and quarantine which i think might be a good way to document that or um, like art and crafty excursions with my friends. This one, I'm really not sure. It's not super themed, so I could go any direction with this really. Um, I have to have a look back through my photos and kind of have a think about it. But I am open to suggestions as to what you think I should make these mini albums theme. So definitely leave me a comment if you have an idea and I would love to hear. Uh, of course, I'm still gonna be making 12 by 12s with these. Of course I am. <laughs> like, don't, don't worry about that. I've got um, quite a few things planned out already in my head so uh, very excited about that but I really hope you enjoyed this share don't forget there will be a discount code in the description box below if you want to go check out the website really reasonable prices and like I said you have that free shipping amount and also their shipping is pretty reasonable anyway I, I think if you're interested check that out and otherwise I will see you in my next video bye guys